My dear friends, it's the fourth Sunday in ordinary time and we are celebrating the Holy Childhood Sunday. So dear friends, today the readings we find Jesus was rejected by his own villagers. Then Jesus says, he caught uh, two, two incidents, moving the man up for the first class. And uh, Jesus told his fellow Jews about two times in the history when God intervened to help non-Jews and foreigners. So the first one is the incident of Elijah during the famine. And uh, then um, with regard to the Naaman, the widow, and the prophet Elisha. So, dear friends, what has this got to do with ourselves? That's what we have to think about today. We can also ask ourselves, do we look down on others? Do we consider others inferior? The Jews were blind to foreigners being forced by God, but that did not mean the foreigners had not been favored by God. The foreigners were cherished by God, even though the Jews were, not, were too blind to see that. So let's ask ourselves, are we blind to God's love for others? It is our attitude to others that is put under the microscope in the gospel today. If we do not have a Christian attitude to others regarding all as equal in dignity before God, we are asked to heal that distorted attitude. That's good to remember because there are so many divisions in the society today, so many boundaries, and it is good to know that with God there is no divisions or boundaries between us, we are all members of his one big family. The society you left as you entered the door of this church was not perfect, but here, as you have entered the church, we don't have any boundaries, my dear friends. So having an unhealthy attitude towards others is, I think, only the symptom of this problem. The problem is one layer deeper, how different they seem. So try thinking about others in this way. It will help to heal the attitude of our problem. The deal, to deal the way to relate to others is given us in our second reading. It says, love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. So reading that beautiful description of love we have to admit, we fall down badly so often. We can see how well or badly we fare with regard to the description of love by omitting the word love from God, the reading, and putting in our own name. Because we know, we have said that God is love, and we are created to the image of God, and we have to live our life according to the way that God loves us. So if we can put our name instead of love and read the passage, read the same passage, put your name there. I'm going to read it again. Name is always patient and kind. Your name is never jealous, is never boastful or conceited. Your name is never rude or selfish. 
does not take offense, takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth, is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. So my dear friends, reading in that way shows us how much we fail to love because sometimes we are not patient and kind. Sometimes we are jealous. Sometimes we are boastful and consider sometimes we are rude and selfish. Sometimes we do take offense and are resentful. So dear friends, today we are asked to reflect on how we live our lives in the same way. Today, we celebrate the Holy Childhood Sunday. And the first reading, it reminds us that, uh, taken from the book of Jeremiah, says that we are formed in the, we were called when we were in the womb of our mothers. Before we were formed, we were given that mission. So dear friends, we all are given a mission to serve in the church especially as we are celebrating the Holy Childhood Society, it's good to remember that each child is called to live the life, not just to come to the church, just to attend the Sunday Mass or the Hampasala. The children who are below grade uh, 7 and 8 they have to be members of this Holy Childhood Society. So that's a place for them to get themselves active in the church. Then when they pass that age, they can be the members of YCS. So after schooling, after the advanced level, they become members of the youth. In the same way, they, they can be members of the choir or uh, Dhampasal teachers, altar servers, Legion of Mary, SVP. There are so many apostolates where you can be missionaries. So in a special way, on this Sunday, let's pray that we will be missionaries, that we may realize our calling to be missionaries in the church. In the same way, let us pray for vocations. Let us pray for vocations on this special Sunday. During this Mass, during this special Sunday, let's pray for, pray to God, asking God to bless all of us so that we may realize our calling to be missionaries in the church. Amen.